All right, we're gonna do some Soroban multiplication. There are two keys that you need to remember when multiplying on the Soroban. The first one is you need to know where to start. And there's a little pattern for where you should start. Now, multiplication on the Soroban goes from left to right. All right, so I know I'm gonna start by multiplying here with the three. It's similar to the way we do multiplication here in America on pen and paper, but we start over here at the left. So I wanna know which column I'm going to start on on my Soroban. So the way we find that out is we start here at the top left number, and then we count around, down, and back. And every time we count a number, we know that's going to be one place value I need to move over on my Soroban. You'll see here in a second, it's actually pretty easy. So I'm gonna be multiplying with the three. So I start here at the two, and I go one, two, three, four. That means I need to start four places over when I'm doing my multiplication on my Soroban. So I go here to my ones column, I go one, two, three, four. So I start my multiplication here. The second most important thing to remember when doing multiplication is that every time we do one of these mini multiplications within our multiplication problem, we're gonna be returned with two digits. So when I do three times two, it's tempting to just put six here, but that's wrong, that's, that would be 60. Three times two is six, which means I go zero, six. Now I do three times four, which is 12, one, two. All right, so now I go to my next number, which is gonna be eight, but I need to know how many places over I need to start. So I start here, one, two, three. I need to go three places over. So one, two, three. Eight times two is 16, so one, six. Eight times four is 32. So I need to add 32 here. I can't add the three here. So to add, to add three here, I'm actually gonna have to add 10, take away seven, and then I still need to add the two from the 32, so I put two here. And you get our final answer, 912. Let's do a harder multiplication problem. <clears throat> so to do 518 times 23, we need to know which place we need to start in. So we go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna start five places over and do my multiplication starting with the two from left to right. So here's my one place, I go one, two, three, four, five. I start here. Two times five is 10, so I go 10, or we go one, zero. Two times one is zero, two, so I go zero, two. Two times eight is 16, so I go one, six. All right, now we're gonna multiply by the three here. So how many places do I go over? One, two, three, four. I go over four places, one, two, three, four. Now three times five is 15. So I add one here, five here. Three times one is zero, three. So I go zero, three. And three times eight is 24. I can't add two here, so I'll add 10 over here. I'll subtract eight from here and add four. I should have our final answer, which is 11,900 and 14.